Every waking day comes with different tasks and challenges for Assistant Superintendent Rashmi Singh and her compatriots who work in South Sudan either as UN police, military or corrections officers. Currently tasked with community policing at a protection of civilian site in Juba, Rashmi Singh's job demands an ability of being able to blend in with different cultures and she does this without any reservations. On Wednesday, she and her compatriots were awarded medals in recognition of their work in South Sudan. I'm passionate about women and children and uh, I'm happy that uh, at the POC sites we get to deal with a lot whilst doing community policing. We interact with a lot of women and children. At the same time, it uh, gives me ways of how to deal with such issues. As a peacekeeper, Reshmi Singh and other uniformed personnel work under various rules which are mainly focused on the protection of civilians. I felt proud that I have been uh, recommended and I have been selected by the United Nations. I was also um, uh, happy that my country had felt that I am uh, capable enough to represent them. After awarding medals to the Fijian personnel, the United Nations Mission in South Sudan Special Representative of the Secretary General, Ellen Margaret Loy, recognized the roles of the uniformed personnel. Your police officers are enabling a safer environment for civilians, including through the protection of women and children in Turit, in Rombek, in Bo, Bao, and here in Yuba. Your corrections officers help manage the holding facility in Malakal and Benchu, which keeps civilians safer while maintaining the rights of people who pose a danger to fellow citizens. And your military officers are backstopping the important work of force headquarters here in Juba. In dis discharging these various tasks, I'm confident in saying that the Fijian contingent punches above its weight. And as Reshmi Singh and others continue to serve with commitment, professionalism and pride, albeit under difficult circumstances, their selflessness to the communities they serve will continue to be a priority.